This story happened in a mountainous area in Thailand in 2003. It was famous for its rich natural resources and majestic scenery. At the time, the mountains near the town regularly emitted loud explosions that caused the ground to shake violently. This phenomenon had happened so many times that people here had become used to it. The explosions was not a sign of an earthquake or landslide, but rather caused by the quarry team of the town. In the past few years, construction had been carried out everywhere. The stone materials had become a common thing. The quarry team would place some cannons on the cliffs and detonate them. After the smoke cleared, they would proceed to collect stones. During a blasting, a young man ran before and saw the scene in front of him surprised. His mouth stammered as he called for the older workers to come and see. The captain of the quarry team pushed aside the young man who was looking up at the cliff and moved up. However, the captain's eyes also showed bewilderment. After a corner of the mountain was mostly destroyed by the explosion, something strange appeared. It didn't look like an ordinary stone. On the stone, there was a layer of scales like dragon scales. There were no artificial traces, but how could there be such a finely carved stone? Some on the team were a bit shocked and scared after seeing it, because everyone had lived on this mountain for many generations, and everyone knew this mountain was very sacred. The captain seemed to know something about the strange stone, but he tried to suppress his fear because he did not want to affect his work and those around him. The explosion shattered many surrounding rocks, but this dragon-like rock was still intact without a crack. So the quarry team had to stuff more explosives into the holes under the dragon stone and detonate it again. After completing the preparation through the quarry team quickly returned to hide behind the large stones, ready to detonate. Immediately after a loud explosion reverberated throughout the forest, the surrounding mountains were also shaken. Nearby areas were also affected by this large explosion. The rock and soil fell and everywhere was mist with dust. This explosion even startled people living at the foot of the mountain. It seemed this was the biggest blast the quarry team had ever made. Even the workers hiding behind the mountain were almost injured by the rubble falling from the mountain. The captain lit a cigarette to calm himself. He had been doing this job for many years, but he was still afraid when he blew up rocks. After all the rocks fell, the construction team came out and checked the condition of the Dragonstone earlier. This time everyone was surprised and terrified, not believing what was happening in front of their eyes. The rock that resembled the dragon remained unbroken or even chipped after a massive explosion. The captain stepped forward to inspect the Dragonstone thoroughly, then suddenly shouted in terror. This stone was indeed a natural one, but it had intricately carved patterns, solid, which could not be damaged. While the captain was wondering what to do, he heard thunder, black clouds came and the sky suddenly darkened. The captain, who had never believed in spiritual matters, felt a bit scared this time, so he ordered the team to return to the village. When it was dark, Pa Dan, the captain still wondered about the dragon rock under the mountain. He then took a bottle of wine to the house of an old stone worker in the village to ask about it. This old stonemason had been dealing with stones his whole life in the mountains, so he had a lot of experience with these kinds of stones. Pa Dan wanted to consult the older man about the dragon rock. After drinking two cups, Pa Dan immediately told the older man about the strange stories he had encountered today. After listening to Badan tell, the older man suddenly remembered the dragon god that his master once told him about. People said that it was a true ancient dragon. Badan, when he heard the old stone worker telling him, felt very hard to believe, but he also could not explain what he was facing. The old stoner said that he was not sure if the legend of the dragon god was true, but he thought it best not to touch the dragon stone anymore. The two were talking when suddenly the door was pushed open, followed by a panicked voice. That's Padan's wife. She ran over anxiously holding a dead chicken and duck in her hand. No one knew what was going on, but all the chickens and ducks that the Padan family raised suddenly died unexpectedly. Padan began to think that it might be the plague, but why did the chickens and ducks show no signs before they died? Padan's wife thought that things were not so simple. According to the wife, their pets all had a strange expression. Padan quickly ran back home. The old stonemason also felt that everything was strange, so he followed. After returning home, they realized that the seriousness of this seemingly simple problem 
was cruel. Chickens, ducks, swans and even pigs and dogs raised by Padan family were lying on the ground. Seeing the dead chickens and ducks all having a painful expression on their faces that made Padan shiver involuntarily. At this moment, Padan still did not understand why the old stone worker standing next to him was 80% sure that it was due to the god dragon in the mountain. Not only Padan's family but also the whole village had a similar situation. Chickens, ducks, dogs and cats all died one by one. A night full of strange things just passed in the small village at the foot of the mountain. Someone flew a fortune in one night. At dawn, Padan was awakened by the shouting outside the door. It seemed that something bad was about to happen to this village. Padan quickly got up and put on his clothes and went out to check the situation. In his heart, he could not help but feel anxious and worried. As soon as he opened the door, Padan was very surprised because his yard was crowded with men, women and children in the village. The villagers heard about the bombing that shook the stone dragon of the quarry team and then in the evening a series of strange incidents happened so they came here. Everyone complained and even scolded Padan because they thought he was the one who brought disaster to the village. Padan also anticipated this. He was clear that he needed to solve it as soon as possible. If this continued, he would become a criminal in the village. Then a villager brought the story he had met early this morning and told Padan it seemed that things were getting worse and worse. As usual, these two farmers went to the fields early in the morning, but when they got there, they were dumbfounded when they saw the condition of the crops. The new rice fields that were green yesterday were all yellow and withered. Like livestock, crops were damaged abnormally. Not only the man's rice field, but also the crops in the fields near the mountains withered. Chickens, ducks, pigs died. People only depended on the fields. Unexpectedly, the crops were no longer there. It seemed disaster had struck this poor village. After hearing the story of the crop, the people became even more indignant. Only then did Badan realize the seriousness of the problem. Padan reassured everyone, but in his heart Padan didn't know how to deal with this thing. Padan once again went to the old stone worker's house to talk. It seemed that he was the only one who could help Padan now. The old stone worker didn't know what to do to calm the dragon god. He asked Badan to bury the dragon stone first, then sacrifice some live chickens and even pigs. Then the old stonemason went to find a large flat rock on the mountain and carved a steel according to the method left by his ancestors. Then the steel was engraved with an ancient poem praising the merits of the dragon god that the older man had heard from his master. Padan didn't know if it was because the old man's method really worked. Since the stone steely was erected, nothing unusual happened in the village anymore. And that steely was left in the great mountain, next to where the dragon stone resided. According to an old legend, a dragon was imprisoned in this mountain because of offending Allah, then turned into a stone dragon. And it was truly sacred. <laughs>